in a previous flyout video. I want to admit something, I don't really know a lot about planes. I know that they fly and they have guns and that's pretty much all a simple minded individual like me needs to know about them. Greetings! This is another flyout video and today I'm going to show you some truly magnificent creations. So, what you saw previously was just the tip of the iceberg. And if I did the calculations correctly, uh, this video will be uploaded on the 25th of December, which is uh, Christmas Day. So, sunny Christmas! Or rainy Christmas! or everything except uh, snowy, because as we all know, snow doesn't exist anymore. Uh, jokes aside, let's begin. First of all, let's see the final creation in the previous video, the Hellstorm. So, this thing has uh, 50 8mm machine guns, and I took this concept and basically improved on it. <laughs> but uh, first, uh, let's see the prototype version of it, and the reason for that is that uh, this thing has uh, not 50 but uh, 32 8mm machine guns, and this uh, 32 number will be relevant, because I want to show you something that also has 32 guns. But it doesn't just have 32 guns, it has 32 12mm 8 barreled Gatling guns, which means it has approximately 256 uh, gun barrels. Uh, yes, it's uh, quite a bit uh, on the extreme scale, but uh, it could be worse, trust me. And uh, yeah, as I said, each of these uh, 8 barreled Gatling guns uh, are 12mm ones, and it has 32 of them. Additionally, it has uh, 4 very powerful turbines, which uh, are capable of some uh, impressive uh, stuff. And uh, also, I uh, nicknamed this uh, aircraft the Kuiper. And if you are not a, a space nerd, you probably don't know what that is. So, around the solar system, you find a belt of uh, asteroids uh, with uh, a few trillion uh, little objects. Some are larger than others, but... Uh, no real planet-sized uh, space rocks there, so this name does fit this uh, aircraft. It fires a few billion uh, small objects, so let's see what it can do. Alright, I am here at the airfield. Now, let's uh, put the throttle up to 100%. Let's uh, press W, and I'm taking off. Alright, you know what? Let's uh, gain some altitude. As you can see, I'm completely vertical now and uh, still accelerating. <laughs> and as you can hear, or rather can't hear, these four uh, turbines uh, produce uh, such a large amount of sound, uh, the game just uh, doesn't process it. So, I made another uh, stealth aircraft by making uh, the aircraft itself so loud, the game just uh, can't process it. Yes, that's... Uh, is that a skill issue or is that just simply skill? <laughs> I don't know. Alright, now that I am above the clouds and am satisfied with my altitude, uh, let's talk a bit about this plane. As you can see, it's uh, not uh, that usual looking. I mean, most of my planes look like this, but uh, that doesn't say a lot because I'm still uh, kind of a beginner at this game. And its top speed is around 2300 km per hour with 100% throttle, but at 50% it's around 1200. And now let's hear the Gatling guns, shall we? They overheated. 
and every time I press the spacebar, which is the fire button, they somehow do a different noise. Yeah, that's uh, kind of interesting and I think uh, Howler is also a good name for this because uh, the Gatling guns uh, make kind of a howling sound. And they also overheat really quickly, so yeah, it's a kind of a design flow, I would say. But I mean, if you thought that the uh, hailstone was a psychological warfare weapon, then what the fuck is this? Psychological terror weapon or something? It's basically everything the Aten Warthog uh, basically dreamed of being. Uh, with uh, 32 Gatling guns. Oh, that's loud. I think I might uh, decrease the volume when editing. Uh, yeah. This shit is terrifying. Also, as you can see, it flies very well. It's actually my most well-performing uh, plane yet. At least uh, in terms of uh, flight characteristics, it's uh, very stable. It is not uh, maneuverable, not that much at least. But it flies really, really well and at 50% uh, throttle, it does uh, take a while to to eat through that uh, fuel amount, uh, which uh, is very nice. And whenever I need to gain altitude, I uh, put this throttle up to 100%, go completely vertical and just gain altitude. So yes, this thing is impressive on uh, so many levels, uh, especially uh, because uh, I still am not a, a great uh, plane creator in this game, but this thing is so far uh, probably my best one. So yes, this would be the Kuiper, the aircraft that uh, fires so many shells, the Kuiper belt uh, would blush. So our second subject is also coincidentally named after some space rocks, but unlike the Kuiper it isn't named after uh, a bajillion space rocks, it's named after one giant one. So say hello to the Chicxulub. What the fuck is a Chicxulub, you might ask? Uh, it's the space rock that uh, put an end to the existence of the dinosaurs. Yes, that space rock. And uh, this aircraft is uh, very interesting for multiple reasons. Reason number one. It has a 205mm gun in it. <laughs> Reason number two is my fastest aircraft uh, so far. And uh, the third reason why this thing is so interesting is because uh, it weighs uh, 80 tons. Mm, yes, you heard that right, it weighs as, as much as an average British uh, main battle tank. <laughs> yeah, it's uh, a weird one. Also, I tried painting it, but uh, it didn't let me paint these uh, outer wings, so yes, it's uh, kind of unfortunate. And it's also a double-seater for no reason other than it just looked right like this. So yes, you know what, let's uh, give this thing uh, a try. So here I am at the airfield. And uh, as you can see, the landing gears do suffer quite a bit. I mean, it's an 80 tons uh, airplane, so no wonder. And as you can hear, it does make some noises because it doesn't have four engines. So, yes. Now, let's press the W. Let's try to keep myself as straight as possible and hope for the best uh, takeoff, which uh, I didn't get this time. Uh, yes, it does have a bit of a rough start, but uh, other than that, it's uh, actually a pretty good plane. So, let's gain some altitude. Uh, it does have 
quite a bit less uh, raw power behind it than the Kuiper. So the Kuiper would still accelerate and this thing uh, barely gives its uh, speed. But uh, that's acceptable in my opinion. Now, you remember when I mentioned the 205mm gun. So let's see what it can do. Boom! Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait some more. Wait for it. There you go. That's a giant ass explosion. So, in the previous video I advertised one of Messier's videos where he built a 152mm gun carrying ship destroyer. Now this thing is more of a 205mm gun carrying village destroyer or, or even a city destroyer. So, you know what, I'm, I'm actually seeing a pattern here. I am somehow only capable of making psychological warfare weapons or I guess this is more of a psychological terror weapon like the Kuiper is also like do you see this? this is beyond insane this wow I wouldn't want to live over there yes this thing is uh, very uh, exceptional in some areas and very underwhelming in others like uh, one of these areas is uh, maneuverability even if I uh, <laughs> put this throttle down to 0% it uh, struggles to turn which you know what it's an 80 ton machine I can forgive that and it also has a big gun uh, that I wouldn't even put on any of my tanks so this thing is just... I don't know what else to say. It flies like a space rock, which is quite fitting because it is actually named after one. It uh, brings uh, on entire extinction events when it fires, like the space rock that it was named after. So, yes, this thing is... weird. What can I say? Also, I probably didn't mention it, but it is my quickest plane. It is capable of going at, at, at 2900 km per hour. And I have already reached it. And I think I can actually reach 3000 as well. 60, 70, 80. Come on, you can do it. 2980. You know what, that's uh, close enough to 3000 for me. So let's see the last plane and the fact that I couldn't uh, paint the bottom of these outer wings, uh, I hate it. Why did the game not let me? So as I said, let's uh, continue with the last uh, plane in this video. So the thing is the last subject of this video is also the funniest one of them all. So say hello to the HDS 201-5. So the thing with this one is that it doesn't have any engines. So how does it move? Lead propulsion. Yes, that's correct. I put some guns um, at the rear of this uh, plane and expected it to fly and my expectations were met this thing is literally a gunfire propelled aircraft there is no reason for this to exist other than it's quite hilarious in my uh, honest opinion and anyone who says otherwise is just wrong uh, this thing does have some major flaws to it one being stability, like if I get up to a 1200 km per hour, it really loses its stability quite quickly. Even at 500 you can see it wobble around. So yes, stability is a major issue. And the other major issue with this is the propulsion itself. 
the guns can overheat and uh, run out of ammunition quite quickly. So it's uh, not an efficient or uh, effective uh, plane in any sense of the word, but uh, it's not about uh, making good planes, it's about uh, guns. As I said before, I don't know a lot about planes, but I know that they fly and they have guns, and that's all a simple-minded individual like me needs to know about them. And that's the lesson of today. Don't underestimate how many guns Gunther can put on a plane. You, will, you would be surprised. Also, I uh, mentioned it that uh, this thing can uh, reach 1200 km per hour top speed and it gets quite unstable at that point. <laughs> so it's better to just keep it uh, around 400, maybe, maybe 300 would be better, but it's uh, slow. And whenever I need speed, I just press space and it fires uh, quite a barrage of shells and as you can see uh, it works stability is a major problem at this point because uh, I am traveling quite quickly but uh, who cares it fired shells as a means of propulsion for fuck's sake what do you expect a good plane <laughs> and I am I have completely lost the uh, my stability. Wait, I think I can get it back. Wait for it. Wait for it. I think it's under control now. Yes, this, uh, if it happened at a lower altitude, I would be gone. Oh. Stability issues. So, yes. This would be the end of this video, if you enjoyed it hit the dislike button, if not hit the dislike button, if you want to you can unsubscribe and tell me in the comments how brain dead am I <laughs> and which one was your uh, personal favorite. So yes, also uh, happy Christmas, bye.